what's good guys so we got a few shoes dropping that i do want to talk about the first one being these air jordan 12 wolf grays now these are dropping september 28th and retail on these i believe is going to be 200 dollars now yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say that i like these a lot more than the mock-up that they gave us honestly these right here this is basically the Air Jordan 12 playoffs, yeah. Like, basically, the same color block, and of course, just switching out the white for the gray. This is basically the Air Jordan 12 playoffs, yeah. Like, honestly, it's not a bad colorway, neither, in my opinion. I absolutely like these. Now, will I be going after them? That's the question that I do ask myself. I mean, y'all know when it comes to Air Jordan 12s, y'all know the hood loves Air Jordan 12s, but me myself i mean i do rock with this colorway but i probably have to if these go on sale then maybe more so but let me know if you're a fan of this colorway right here man and these dropping on september 28th once again and retail is going to be that 200 dollars now Y'all should have heard by now that the Air Jordan 5 grapes is returning for summer 2025 and i kind of seen this coming just for the simple fact that I spoke about this in a video a while ago. And I mentioned to you guys that it was either out of the Great Fives or the Fire Red Fives to drop. And I kind of wanted the Fire Red Fives to drop. But I'm not mad at the Great Fives dropping because it is celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Air Jordan 5s. And we also got the Black Metallic Reimagines dropping in 2025 as well. So not one but two dope colorways for the 35th anniversary. So... I'm definitely excited for that as far as this grape colorway, in my opinion. I mean, we last seen these back in, what, 2018, that Will Smith version. But I'm actually digging these. And they coming back with that Nike Air, true to OG form, of course, with the OG shape, the OG packaging. So I'm eager to see how these are going to look in the upcoming months. Also, we got word that the Air Jordan 10 Steels is returning in 2025 as well. Now, once again, shape is going to be improved to the OGs, of course, and OG packaging now. Yeah, I kind of seen this one coming too. Now, the thing about this is that these are coming with that extra leather toe cap on the front now. I know a lot of y'all don't rock with it. Some of y'all rock with the original shape of the Air Jordan 10s. Crazy thing is I dropped the YouTube short. I also did it on my TikTok asking would you guys prefer for these if they were to drop at the time with the toe cap or without the toe cap and some people said they preferred them without the toe cap but honestly yeah it's little details like that on a shoe like this that i definitely rock with so i mean with the toe cap without the toe cap i'm still here for it i'm just glad that the air jordan 10 steals is returning so let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comment section below we do have the kobe 8 what does returning for summer 2025 now i know we last got the original release back in 2013 and honestly yeah they have been dropping a ton of kobe colorways now honestly when it comes to the what the series i'm gonna go ahead and say one of my favorites is the kobe 8s but when it comes to like the kds and the lebrons as far as the KDs, I like the KD6, the What the KD6s. Those right there, that's one of my favorite What the KDs of all time. Like, those right there just go crazy. Just the KD6s in general, y'all. Some of the colorways that is... I'm going to drop a video on, on, on some of the, 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 the KD colorways, man. Because they got some classics that I feel like Nike should, you know, start retroing. But... As far as the LeBrons, I would say my favorite is that sample pair. Now, yes, they did come out with a sample pair. It is the LeBron 9s and never released to the public. These are them right here. But that's one of my favorite. I just like how that whole, you know, hyper-infused colorway just comes together. But when it comes to the Kobe 8, what does y'all, a classic. And these, listen, I know most of y'all probably, you know, we probably all could smell the L's a mile away, but I think that I'm actually trying for this pair. I mean, it's some pairs that they dropped that I was like, eh, but as far as these, like, I definitely am going to try for this pair, and I know we had the girl dads that 
just dropped on saturday so if you was able to secure those let me know that down in the comment section below now i want to talk about these air jordan 4 white cements now it's rumored i've seen on a few sneaker posts that they were rumored to return for 2025 now y'all once again dropped the video on that and i was letting you guys know that i feel like if jordan brand was to drop these i'm not saying it is confirmed but y'all if Jordan Brand was to go somewhere within that reimagined line, I just feel like it's going to be something different. Now, I could be wrong. They could probably remaster these the same way they're doing with the Air Jordan 3 Black Cements. But, yeah, I mean, like, who knows what to expect when it comes to this reimagined, you know, series. I mean, I don't have no confirmation of that, which is why I wasn't actually going to speak about it. But I just want to get you guys' thoughts and opinions, man, and... I mean, if, new, if news does come out about it that it is dropping, then, you know, I'm going to further my thoughts and opinions. But I'm going to leave it here for right now for you guys to decide. And lastly, I want to talk about these Air Jordan 11 Columbias as what they call them, Legend Blues. Because, yeah, we got a detailed look at these. And these are fire, fire. Y'all know how I feel about Air Jordan 11s, man. Like, honestly, yeah, when it comes to the Air Jordan 11, the Air Jordan 11... Lastly, in my opinion, that gave me that holiday feel was the Gratitude 11s, and I do have the Gratitudes. Like, it just gave me that holiday feel. It put me in that holiday spirit, and I feel like these are going to do the same. Now, honestly, I hope that Jordan Brand does something, you know, as far as these, like a special packaging, you know, something like we got with the Space Jams. Or, you know, they could even hit us with, you know, maybe a jersey, maybe a pair of shorts. I mean, y'all know Mike did wear these in the 1996 All-Star game. So, I mean, something special to commemorate these would definitely be dope, in my opinion. And seeing how they got these super right with that patent leather, yeah, that blue on there looks beautiful. Like, I know this is going to be a banger for holiday 2024. I know... This is mandatory for me, no brainer. My number one mandatory cop for this year is these Air Jordan 11 Columbia's. Like, these are beautiful, y'all. These are beautiful. Man, I absolutely love these. These are built to perfection. Now, I seen some comments where some people was like that, you know, these originally came with mesh. The originals did not come with mesh. The originals came with leather, which is what these are coming with and which is what the 2013s came with. But for the most part, I believe it was the 2013s or the 2014s. But for the most part, I'm still digging them. I'm still here for them. So if you are excited for the Columbia 11 shopping for 2024 holiday season and you will be going after them, let me know all of that down in the comment section below, y'all. If you are excited about any of this news that I did drop today, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Make sure to turn on post notifications on because I got a banger dropping for you guys tomorrow. If you are new to the channel, guys, and you want to stay updated within the sneaker community where I give you guys updates on some of the newest and hottest releases, then hit that big subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. Until next time, I love and appreciate you guys. Reach for the stars. Sky's the limit. And we out.